So when we go out looking, first we research the habitat. We find out what kind of animals are in the habitat. And then we research the natural behaviors of those animals and try to find out when they're active, when's the best window of opportunity to catch them. For many of the snakes, they're fossorial, meaning that they spend most of their lives underground. It's really hard to find them unless you know exactly where and when to look. Uh, a lot of other creatures are highly moisture dependent, so you have to find them underneath rocks and things where moisture might still be. A lot of times, you'll get to a rocky area, you won't find anything, and then all of a sudden, you'll be looking, and then, wham! Guys, come here, check this out. This is one of the several species of scorpions we have in the area. And I want to show you guys something about them. I can tell that this is not a dangerous species. Uh, there is a dangerous species here called the bark scorpion, but the general rule of thumb with scorpions all across the world is if they have big fat pinchers and a skinny tail, generally the venom is not that toxic, not that dangerous. But if they have tiny little delicate pinchers in the front and a big fat tail, it means they rely on the venom, not the pinchers, to subdue the prey, and then you better watch out. That, that is the case with the bark scorpion. So this menacing looking little arachnid is called the swollen stinger scorpion, and like the giant desert hairy scorpion out in the desert. Uh, this guy is one of our, our more common scorpions you see in the mountains a lot. They can be a little aggressive, but awesome creature. Check out the size of these pinchers. Again, this is how I know but this guy's not that dangerous because he's got huge lobster-like pinchers. Isn't that awesome, kids? Now, all scorpions are venomous, just like all spiders are venomous, but only a few of them are dangerously venomous. Venom is injected and poison is ingested. So we do want to watch out because you never know who might have a, an allergy, but other than an allergy, you really have nothing to worry about from this species. 